Did you wear your colors today? Well, many of you did for National Pride Day. A special ceremony was held in Roslyn Square to mark the occasion, celebrating all things Bahamian. Here's Fern Carey. There was a strong showing of Bahamian pride as residents of all ages converged in Rawson Square to participate in the National Pride Day ceremony. The event, part of activities leading to the country's 43rd anniversary of independence on July 10th. The Royal Bahamas Police Force Youth Band and youngsters from the Remnant Academy Children's Choir marked the occasion through song and musical selections. Governor General, Her Excellency Dame Marguerite Pinling, said that National Pride Day is a time to reflect and take stock. She called on every Bahamian to continue doing their part to build the nation. In order to continue to build our nation, all of us must have the positive determination to move ahead. The will to be an effective part of nation building and a sense of shared initiatives. Every one of us has a vital role to play in our com continuation as a sovereign nation. And uh, there can be no other way to start than by demonstrating unity of purpose and a firm commitment to excellence in all we do. Youth pastor at Bahamas Faith Ministry, Shamron Monroe, said the future looks bright for young people. We have given our people education, we have informed our people so that they will not be ignorant. We have created platforms for them to lead and to stand on the shoulders of great people. Today, as we celebrate, as you sit there, as you listen, you are the hope. You are the health. You are the opportunity. You are the prosperity. You are the excellence of what we present as a nation and you should give yourself a round of applause. It was then time for the much anticipated flag raising ceremony followed by an array of activities. Vendors also did their part to mark the occasion. We have the straw clutches, straw fans, we got some Bahama bags and some Bahama t-shirts. But I feel like every Bahamian should be proud to be a Bahamian because I'm proud to be a Bahamian. The activities will continue until independence on July 10th as Bahamians continue to celebrate their heritage and history. Fern Carey, Zedanes Network News.